Hey yarn friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. So today is a Hobby Lobby yarn haul. So I was able to go to Hobby Lobby. Um, it's in the next town over and I don't really go over that town that much every now and then. Elijah goes to that town every chance he gets because his girlfriend lives over there. But I don't usually go over there, but I had to go um, run some errands in town and pay a bill or so and I ended up in that town. Well, Elijah was driving me. He took me. And so I said, hey, we're here by Hobby Lobby. Let me run in there. And so I ran in because there was a particular yarn that I wanted and have been talking about. And so I went in and this is what I actually went for. I had a gift card. And so um, I was kind of hanging on to that gift card forever. <laughs> and then I decided what I was going to do with the gift card. And so that's what I went to do. I bought some Premier Bloom Chunky. So this yarn is so soft. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I ended up getting two balls of this. And I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do with this. I had been wanting some of this. I had been wanting some chunky, but I also wanted some four weight, but they don't, my Hobby Lobby in the store doesn't carry the four weight. They only have the um, chunky. And so um, I, what I originally wanted to do was get some four chunky and some four weight and make something with both of them and compare because on this particular, uh, it's called Bloom for this yarn because it will have a little row, um, flower section that will pop up. And so that's what I want to do. I wanted to compare it in crochet and compare it in knit. So anyway, um, and then my friend Ashley over at Stitching Ain't Easy, she made some slipper socks with this and they look so squishy and comfy. Oh, they just look really cool. So that's what I got this what, this far. This is the exact color that Ashley used. So I'm copycatting her and going to make squishy slipper socks with these. And um, I was thinking about how I was going to use these. And at the same time, I had already been thinking about it. Ashley was thinking that too, because this is, this is, she did the same thing. I'm going to use double crochet on the slipper socks. But when I get to the flower section, I'm going to use single crochet. That way, um, maybe it'll m look more like flowers. I don't know. I don't think the crochet looks that much like flowers, but I think the knit would. <clears throat> These are This yarn is a bulky five, and it is 109 yards. And at my Hobby Lobby, it was $3.99. So I was happy to get those. I got those two in this color. Okay, and then I went ahead and got one more color because I am going to <laughs> make a loom knit hat with this. <clears throat> and this one has like turquoise and in there. So I can't wait to see how this works up. I bet it's going to be pretty. I know it's going to be pretty. <laughs> okay, and then let's see what else I got. I went ahead and picked up a few more things. Remember that Hooked on Amigurumi book that I showed y'all um, a week or so ago, or two weeks ago maybe? I'll link the book below. But anyway, um, there's some ice cream cones with ice cream in there. And so I thought I was going to make that, at, you know, last week or so. And then I thought, well, I don't really have a yarn that looks like ice cream. And I was just walking by and I happened to see this yarn. It's a, I love this yarn. And the colorway is called fruit salad, but doesn't wouldn't that look like ice cream with sprinkles? Okay, so anyway, um, that's why I got it because I want to make some of those ice cream cones for no particular reason. I just want to make them. <laughs> so, um, well, I don't know. Okay, here we go. This is two hundred and fifty-two yards. So I think I can make a lot of ice cream cones with this. <laughs> We'll see. That's that's my plan with this. When I saw it, I was like, ice cream. And so I had to get it. And then I went ahead and picked up this sparkle pink. Because I'm into sparkle yarns, Anna. 
from tail, uh, <laughs> Tales from the Craft Room. She got sparkle yarn for her birthday, and it's beautiful. And, you know, I, for some reason this year, I've been getting some sparkle yarn. This is called Pinky Toes. And I'm probably going to make a doll dress out of it. Probably for my um, American American Girl dolls. Like this, this size doll right here. Actually, I have a lot of those dolls. Um, they're not all American Girl Matter of fact, I don't even have an American Girl doll. What am I saying? <laughs> I don't even own an American Girl doll. I have some 18-inch size dolls that are, you know, similar to the American Girl dolls. <coughs> so, and I picked mine up at um, just these knockoff dolls. I've picked them up at, like, um, rummage sales or thrift stores and um different things like that or online marketplace on facebook i mean i picked up you know some of those dolls for like five dollars each and so um some of them they're packed up right now but i'm going to get one of the boys to find that box for me and get them out so i can make dresses for them because i want to that's what i want to do so that's why i got this was to make a doll dress and i did make the dress that she has on it's a loom knit dress, and I have a video for that also. I can link it below. Anyway, and then I also, just kind of walking around, and, you know, I was trying to, I decided I was going to go ahead and use up my gift card. Um, and all the yarns were 30% off. So I was figuring that and, you know, trying to use up my gift card because I didn't want to have, like, um, I wanted to actually go over it a little bit so I could pay the extra $5.00. And not have a gift card with, you know, $2 left on it. <laughs> so, um, I had never bought this. The Sugars and Cream Scrub. And I don't know what that word is. It starts with an O. Is it Scrubology? I'm not sure. Um, anyway, it is the cotton yarn. And then every so often it has the scrubby yarn. So, I'm going to use that to make a dishcloth for my kitchen. Because... This is the color of my kitchen. My kitchen is gray and a turquoisey color. So that will look great in there. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't lean in. But anyway, the color of this is um, spring blue. It's a number four yarn. And it is... <coughs> So I think that would make a, um, at least probably one or two, or just a big dish rag. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And then as I was kind of just mosing around, <laughs> I saw this, and it made me think of Valentine's. So I was going to try to do a Valentine's dish rag, because one of my goals for this year is to do just dish rags along the year, so that next um, winter I have a stack of dishcloths and scrubbies and things like that to make some little gift sets. <clears throat> and then um, as I was moseying around looking to see what they have that I don't have, and that's what I did. I really bought yarns that I, except for this one, I do have some sparkle yarn, but I don't know. I don't know if I have any pink in there at the moment. Uh, I might have used all my pink that I had before. But anyway, I was trying to get yarns I didn't have to experience them. And um, I never buy this kind of cotton yarn. I, I have before, but it's not something I keep on hand. So I bought the, I love this cotton. And I bought red and pink. And so these are 100% cotton. And they're 180 yards. And so... I thought I might make some washcloths with these because these are really, really soft. And um, if I get around to it, if I don't, I mean, I may be making them in February or April or something, you know. But I have them for when I get ready to make them. Honestly, I have some projects going on right now. I'm trying not to start anything new until I finish. <sighs> That's hard. Do y'all know that? I'm sure you do. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, I found a, here's another one that I picked up. Um... This is, I love this yarn, and it is uh, a number four. I think we all know that. And it's 252 yards, and this is called um, 
jazz stripes. And I'm going to make some slipper socks out of these. I love those slipper socks. And I might even try to record while I'm making these to do a little tutorial. <laughs> okay, and then the last two things that I picked up was um, a Sugar Wheel Cotton Sparkle. And this one is a... Um, this is number three, and it's called Pretty Please. Yes, Pretty Please. And so it's a three, and the blanket that I'm making, or the squares that I'm making during the stitching movie, some of those I'm making them with the little Sugar Roll Minis, which are threes, and then the um, little dollops are fours, but they're a thin four. So these will go fine together. So I got that one right there. That's pretty. And then I got this one right here that is also a sparkle. And it is called Just Relax. Woo! I'm really into sparkles this year, aren't I? <laughs> so anyway, I don't know that um, how I'm going to incorporate these in there. These might be the outside rounds um, after I get the blanket made. I'm not sure exactly, but I'm going to put these into that blanket. And then the only other thing I picked up was a little hanger thing that was hanging up, and um, I picked it up. I kind of looked at it before I tore it off, and there was that sloth right there, which I think is just adorable. I'm kind of into sloths a little bit, so. Um, oh, and on the inside, there is a llama one. <laughs> So, I might make some of these later, like I said. And then there's a um, flamingo one. Like I said, I'm trying not to start any new projects, like, right away. I'm trying to work on the projects that's on my desk right now. My desk is piled up with some projects. <laughs> and so, um, I'm trying to work on some of those. And then, I will start new projects with these lovely yarns. But anyway, I wanted to share that yarn haul with you guys and um, let you see that I got some yarns that I don't normally get. And um, I'll let you know how they work up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again really soon.